Hi, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to do some basic uh, arithmetic addition and subtraction. So uh, let's, let me just add a B over here. So, so I have this calculator a little bit styled up. Um, I just added a, a border, uh, made this to appear in the middle and added some horizontal lines. So to do that, uh, I've used a div tag um, and then a h3 tag for the calculate my calculator title and then a hr tag. And to get it in to get this whole block into the middle there, I have uh, width 200 px and margin 0 auto. So I have explained this in my HTML videos uh, what exactly this means if you don't know then please check out my HTML videos uh, which I had posted earlier and I have used a 2px uh, teal color. So now that our form is posting, let's uh, add a PHP tag and get those posted data. So I'm just going to print uh, everything that is posted. So print our dollar underscore post. And let's see what we get. Uh, let's add a pre tag as well. And let's see what it's posting. Uh, this is uh, out of all, uh, out of the block for now, but let's concentrate on this. What it has posted. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let me show it to you right from start. So. Let's just command this. So this is our initial state when nothing is posted and I'm, I'm going to uncomment this now and post some data. And here we go. We have one and two as submit and, and the submit button uh, in our post uh, values. Now, um, uh, let me show you uh, what uh, I, I had mentioned a uh, request um, super global variable. Uh, let's see um, if it grabs a, a value from the form tag. So let's start from the start. I'm just going to uncomment it and I'm going to tell you why I'm uncommenting, uncommenting and commenting the text. That's because if I uncomment it, this script will ex expect this to be set, which is not set. Um, only the session ID is set for now and um, uh, th this is a later part, so don't worry about it. But nothing is posted. Uh, if I use a post over here, nothing has been posted and it gives us an empty array. So. I want to you know, make a check for the empty arrays as well. Uh, so let's continue. I have a value A over here. Dollar underscore post. So it's an array. So you can dollar underscore is an array. So you can get this value over here. And and value P. Let's copy this, paste it, input 2. So this will, if, if I equal this, this will surely equal me the input time, input 1 and input 2. Um, let's post something 2 and 3 and submit it 2 and 3. So it has posted the values. Now let's add those values. Now to add a value there are arithmetic operators like a plus sign or a minus sign or a multiplication or a division sign. So to add two so to add two values we need a third third variable result equal to 
value a is equal to uh, uh, value a plus value b. And we are going to echo the result. So, let us continue, we are getting a result 5 over here. So, that means our calculator addition is working over here. Now, uh, what what do we do if we have want to minus it? We just say minus over here. Continue. So, since our first value is 2 minus 3, it is giving us minus 1. Let us see what uh, multiplication does. This is a multiplication, this is an asterisk. So, if I continue 3 to the 6 and the division is done by a slash sign and it gives me a div divided value. So, in this way we can um, we can perform arithmetic operations. Now, I have to change the operator over here every time. Let us add a field over here and uh, accept that operator. So, I am just going to add a br tag over here and let us name it operator and input type text operator and let us give a default value plus to it and let us see what happens. Yeah, We have a plus sign over here but see the result. This should not happen in our PHP uh, program. So, let us see, let us get rid of this. So, what is happening right now is when you load a PHP page, it tries to execute this block, but it does not have the input values which are posted. So, to check for that, um, we need to check if this is set, if the submit button is pressed. So, to check for that, you can simply say if if block is set dollar underscore post submit button and you can open this bracket and close it over here. So now if you check it, you should not have that NAN, not a number symbol over there. So let us continue with this. So now we have um, operator, we need to add one more variable over here for operator is equal to operator make sure your uh, names are the same uh, use these are case sensitive so make sure you uh, use the same name uh, in the name tag and in the posted tag as well, the posted uh, array as well. Next, uh, we have this um, operator input now, uh, how do we use it over here? So, there are a couple of ways that you can use it. So, you can say if you can, using the if else, uh, I'm going to show the if else first, if operator is equal to plus, then do addition else if there's an else if block so if there there will be like four uh, operations plus minus uh, division and multiplication so we can just say else if else if operator is equal to minus else i'm just going to copy this else if multiplication else if division else I'm going to echo some values out over here 
echo invalid operation. So we are only permitting plus minus uh, multiplication and division right now. So I'm going to echo this result, the same thing over here. So let me change this to multiplication, this to minus and this to plus. That should do it. Um, I'm going to add some tabs over here just to make it more readable. Save it. I hope everything is right. This is more readable now. So this is ending over here and this is a PHP code. So if s if if set is starting over here, ending over here. So let's add some let's add some big numbers. Something went wrong. Something is wrong. Let me just comment this out and see if this is the case. Yeah, there's an error over there. Let's debug it. There you go. That should be the error. There you go, we have our result. So we are doing addition now. So 10 plus 15 is 25. Uh, let's do the subtraction over here. Let's add five. We have 10. Let's do multiplication. Sorry, um, I missed the subtraction part, I think. 10 plus minus five gives us five. Um, 10 into 45 and let's multiply it it, it should give us 450 and 50 divided by 5 should give us 10 so our calculator is working but there's one problem with it what if I what if the user type some um, different characters like this it'll give us invalid operations. Uh, we don't want a user to type anything. We, we want a user to select uh, the options that we are providing. That's uh, how, that's, that's the best um, practice, uh, not to let user uh, add invalid, uh, invalid characters. Uh, we can either, um, add validations to this or we can restrict the user to only select um, specific operations. So to do that, let's change this input type to a select box. So select and I'm going to use the same name as operator and we are going to have options over here. Option plus value plus so this is going to be minus minus multiplication multiplication and division division so let's uh, word this out uh, because it's 
user may not know what an asterisk means. So division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. So let's and we have why the addition is not coming over here. So I've missed a greater than sign closing tag and I'm going to get rid of this now. We don't need that. And there we have uh, in this way we can restrict the user to only these operations. Uh, so let's see if it still works and it still works. Um, in the next video, um, I'm going to show you how to retain values over here and retain this. Uh, uh, say, suppose I select this two and three. Uh, it gives me results, but um, it doesn't retain the values like the values are lost over here. And if I press something, it will give me zero. But uh, I want to uh, show you how to keep this retained and keep this selected in the next video. Uh, I hope uh, you find this um, videos helpful. If you do, then please like and or share uh, or subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.